Hello everyone, EastFlynja11 here, back again for another custom video, and today we're going to be taking a look at some oil tankers. Uh, without further ado, let's get into this. Uh, so you may be wondering a couple things. A, useful, why didn't you show these tankers off with the other pieces of rolling stock that you showed off in a previous custom video? And B, why did you make some custom oil tankers? Well, to answer both of those questions, the reason I didn't show these tankers off with the other pieces of rolling stock with the seven plank wagons and the vans was because those were all 3D printed rolling stock that was made by Nick TF89. As for these tankers, they're officially wooden railways, so, you know, I kind of felt like there was a need to separate them, and also I just forgot. Also, the reason I made custom oil tankers was because, well, I generally don't know how much of a hot take this is, but I'm not a fan of the wooden railway oil tankers. Let me get this straight. They're red tankers with the word oil on them painted in black, when technically, they the tanker itself should be black and the words should be written in white. I think you can pretty much see where I'm going with this. So yeah, I'm not really a fan of the wooden railway oil tankers, so I thought it was best to seek out some tankers and make some of my own. I got these tankers from Entertainment Junction almost a year ago when I went to a meetup in February from Thomas Critical, aka Tyler. So thank you very much, man, for supplying me with these tankers, because before that, I hardly had any. He also supplied me with this water tanker. It's a day out with Thomas one and this fuel tanker, but I've already talked about this. Both of these tankers were, one of them was actually originally a milk tanker, which I was generally considering about restoring, but with how badly beaten up it was, I don't know if even I could have restored this. So I decided to turn it into an oil tanker, and one of them was one of the paint and play tankers, which are very, very good for customizing. Highly recommend the paint and play items for custom makers, but then again, there's nothing wrong with painting over official items either. I will admit, I painted these all in a gloss black because I don't know why it just looks better I again really going back on my philosophy from the break van custom video lol but seriously though I painted them both in a nice gloss black and I think they look pretty good now the hardest part was the oil names at first I tried painting them but it just turned out very terrible and so I decided to go ahead with decals instead however when I first put on the decals I actually used clear tape and I realized this was a really bad mistake. So I decided to actually strip them of the tape decals and decide to just reprint them and glue them on instead, which honestly looked better. There really isn't too much to say about these tankers as they're just painted black and slapped on oil decals. However, I do want to make at least two more of these so I can have, you know, four of them. In fact, I really need to grow my tanker collection as this is all I have. I've had this tidbit milk tanker for a long time, and of course, like I said, Tyler gave me all the other tankers, but I really need to expand my oil tankers, water tankers, tin with milk tankers, soda or fuel tankers, and heck, I don't even have any tar tankers, so I gotta get my hands on some of those. So I guess enough about me ranting. That's pretty much it for this custom video. Without further ado, you Splendid 11 signing out. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all next time.